Hey guys, as promised, I'm going to give you a more detailed account of what my diet's been like uh, so far over these last three weeks while I've been doing this operation, Get Dan Diced. Um, I've had a lot of people asking questions, and to be honest, you're probably going to be disappointed by this video. Um, there is no magic. There are no secrets. I'm not doing anything remarkable. Basically, I'm following a diet that puts me in a calorie deficit, so I'm eating less calories than my body needs, so that I'm losing weight. I am not cutting out any food group. I'm eating plenty of protein, plenty of carbs, plenty of fats, and I'm getting lots of vegetables as well. Um, I'm not doing any kind of fasting protocol. Um, pff, there's no magic supplements involved. Jeez, there's, there's, there's no drugs. That was a funny one. <laughs> you, you think I'm on steroids? I'm weighing like 74 kilos at 5 foot 8. If, if I am, I want my money back. <laughs> Seriously. Um, so no, like literally it's just common sense, everything balanced in moderation diet. Um, I'm not eating 100% typically clean foods either. Um, if I fancy something, a bit of chocolate or ice cream or something like that, I mean, I'll eat it as long as I leave room for it in the diet. Um, now, by no means is my diet full of junk food. No, that is not what I'm saying. Um, I'm saying it is about 80% to 90% clean, whole, natural foods. And then I leave a little bit of wiggle room if I did want any snacks or treats. Um, I guess a, a big part of how I've been following this diet is uh, structure. I've mentioned before um, having a routine and pattern in place, it, it's so important. Um, I'm kind of lucky because for me, um, I've been fairly lean for a long time now. Um, not this lean, but I've always got visible abs and that's in part because I stick to a pretty good eating structure. It's a habit. I do it without even thinking. Um, and this is such a big part of what I try to get beginners or people new to weight loss to do, um, is establish good habits, a good kind of eating routine. And that goes such a long way in getting them to lose weight. Um, so I'll, I'll be a bit more, uh, more precise in what I'm actually eating. Uh, let me tell you, I'm eating just over 2,000 calories a day. Um, and as far as my macros go, it's 217 grams of protein. So that's a high protein diet. I've spoken quite a lot about uh, the importance of protein, not just for muscle gain, but for weight loss too. Um, if you've missed it, have a look at my blog, there's lots of posts about it. Um, carbohydrates, I'm eating 163 grams a day, so um, I'm not short of energy, I've got my carbohydrates in there, it is not a low carb diet. And as far as fats go, it's 72 grams of fats a day. So um, it's, a, it's a balanced diet, I've got all three macros in there, and um, it's, it's working well. It just shows a balanced, sensible diet, everything in moderation, the old fashioned way, it still works. You don't need to follow any extremes and cut stuff out. It's just not necessary. The only thing you should probably be cutting out is uh, a little bit of the junk food. But again, not completely. You don't have to eat just chicken and broccoli every single day. Which uh, brings me on to the next part. Um, I'll lay out for you exactly what my eating structure roughly is like. Um, it's not in stone, it's not, um, you know, this changes, it's, it's not like something that's, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, inflexible, because it's, it's not. But generally speaking, um, early morning I'll have a whey protein shake and a slice of toast uh, just before I head to the gym. Um, most of the time I'll get a morning gym session in, then after that um, I'll normally have uh, a egg white omelette. Uh, it's normally made from five egg whites. Um, and then maybe later on, I'll have a salad of some sort, often uh, lots of bell peppers. Um, so that's, uh, that's my fiber in there, getting some vegetables in there. And generally, I'm not too hungry during the day. Plus, 
Um, as I've mentioned before, I like to backload my calories. So I like to leave more food to eat in the evening time when I begin slowing down in the physical activity. And that's when I do feel hungry. So I make sure I've got food left for then. Plus, I've also mentioned before about my sleeping issues. Because I'm awake for such a long time, I need to take that into consideration. So I need to make sure that if I'm hungry during the night, um, I've got food left in my calorie allowance that I can eat. Otherwise, it sucks. You know, it's the middle of the night, early morning, I'm not sleeping, and I'm hungry. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's better off uh, not sleeping, but not being hungry. It's, uh, you know, that sucks a little bit less. So, um, yeah, where were we? We are talking about later on I'd have a salad. Um, I might have a protein bar um, mid to late afternoon time. It depends if I'm hungry or not, how my energy levels are. And then usually I'll have a big dinner, um, say around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Uh, again, it depends. Um, and that generally is fish with more vegetables. Um, and then after that, um, it's a little bit of a free-for-all. Because um, generally I'll have a lot of calories still left over. Um, I'll be tracking everything using my fitness pal, so I'll be using the calorie app. So then it's just kind of whatever I fancy to fill in the gaps and use up my remaining calories. So um, it might be, I don't know, something like uh, chili con carne. So I've got, you know, that'd be minced beef with rice. Um, might be spaghetti bolognese. Um, and it might be cheese on toast. If it's like literally like anything really random. Um, and it might be a little bit of chocolate, I, whatever I fancy. Otherwise, just kind of whey protein. Um, but either way, if, if I fancy something, I'll eat it. But generally, I'm keeping to mostly healthy foods. And that's literally all it is to it. So uh, no magic, I'm afraid. Um, these last three weeks, I've just been following a balanced diet, using a good routine, um, good eating structure to keep within my calories. And it's working. Um, as long as I'm sticking to the plan, the weight's coming off. Simple as that.